Hello everyone, this is a brand new, well pretty much brand new Blade Nano CPS right out of the box. I'm using a 14MZ radio with the Spectrum DM9 Futaba MZ module and um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to address one of the issues I found on the forums that, uh, I don't know, I, seem, I think it's silly and it's not explained in the manual and in the end it's just going to cost Horizon and E-Flight all sorts of money because the group who designed this thing assumed one thing, it would appear based on my assessment, and that is all radios have exactly the same neutral positions. And if you guys, the guys that know me, know I design things like this, and that is a bad assumption to make. So, here, let's go ahead and plug it in, just show you my swash drift so you guys can see it, and then I'll fix it for you. Takes no time. All right. So you can tell by the you can tell by the color that we are that we are um, in the arrow mode because it's red. It turns blue whenever you go into the rescue me mode, or I, I'll just call that the very stable hover mode. Um, but as you can see. Especially if you focus in on the servos, you can see that they're moving forward and to the left. It's consistent. I know my helicopter moved a little bit at startup, but that really doesn't matter. It's consistent regardless. So what do I do to fix this? And it, it won't do this in the rescue me mode, but it'll only do it in the arrow and 3D modes. My, my, my sticks, my gimbals, I guess, are slightly off in comparison to what they think center is. And I know people have had this issue also. And you cannot take off like this. This helicopter is impossible to take off if it's not right. So what do you do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this for you right now. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and the magic numbers for the 14MZ appear to be minus 25 on the elevator. So if you notice, the elevator is no longer moving back, but the roll, if you look at the far servo's brass wheel, you'll notice that it's spinning. Well, the magic number to stop that is aileron minus 10. All right, look at that. Perfect. Nothing. It's moving. It's 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 consistent. And if you look at the again the brass wheels on the servos, they're perfectly still. So, what's the significance of this? Oh, and the thing is, you probably oh you it you know maybe it's auto calibrating during the start. No 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 no. They weren't smart enough for that. I'm going to prove that to you as well. I'm going to disconnect it. I'm going to reconnect it. So, battery. See? Disconnected. Reconnected. So let me let it sit still for a second. Okay. Look. The swash plate is not moving. It stays back. A little bit forward. A little bit forward. Perfectly still. And that's on a brand new startup. Shame on you guys over there at uh, E-Flight Engineering because you, by not explaining this properly, may have cost your company a whole lot of money because you're going to get a lot of calls for returns. Oh, my board's not centering and blah, 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 which I've seen already. That's not cool, man. You got to be clear because if you explain things in five different languages all the wrong way, guess what you're going to get? five crappy instructions in five different languages and you're going to waste your various dis distributors a bunch of you're going to waste a bunch of their money so next time know your product clearly communicate this to those business folks because they're going to just pitch it the way you tell them and um Just don't make this mistake again. It was boneheaded. It's costing you guys money. I'm, I'm already seeing it on the forums. People are getting new boards because it's not centering properly. Five minutes to sub-trim it so that this doesn't happen. Simple. Yes, I'm on you guys. Don't waste money.
And oh, by the way, I noticed that the rudder needed to be trimmed a little bit as well in order for it to hold a very perfect uh, steady hover and not slowly drift. Again, my number is minus 10 for those 14MZ guys, but uh, you might have to do this. There, you know, there might have to be an initial sub-trim flight to, to get everything, well, sub-trim on the bench to fix the swash, and then from there during the flight, if you notice any drift in the rudder, you might have to add a tad a sub-trim to, to, to make that perfect. So, it, you know, it fixes the problem because there is a problem and uh, it wasn't addressed in the manual so hopefully you're able to run with this information and and uh, enjoy your blade nano alright 